And there are seven changes to the team that beat Doncaster that will go down to face Pirates. Just briefly talk us through that team. Yeah, look, we've we've had a run of uh, five Friday night games, um, which comes with its own challenges in terms of uh, keeping people fresh and keeping people fit. So we felt going down to, to Pirates, a, a long trip and a, an away game on Sunday in what what's looking like to be pretty atrocious conditions. Uh, it's important that we freshen up the side. Um, you know, some battered and bruised bodies after you know a run of four wins. Um, you know, and we've got a long, long um, part of the season to go as well with another nine fixtures post uh, post this one. So you know, we've got to look after the fellows. We've got to bring the guys in. Uh, there's some dual reg boys in there that you know we we, we want to use in, in this period before they go back into their A League program. Um, so it made sense this week to freshen up and. You know, we're, we're bringing in quality lads into the side as well, um, and it means that a lot of those boys that did play last week are also on the bench to come on and, and give us that um, end of the game impact that we're looking for. The one that stands out to me is Sean Scanlon's finally rested this season. He's one that, even when you have changed up the squad quite a bit, Sean's always been the mainstay within that team. Yeah, look, Sean. Sean's played a lot of football this year. You know, we've got to look after him. He's got, he's got a big end of the season to come. Uh, we just felt it's the right time now to give him uh, this week and, and next week as a, as a bit of downtime for him, um, and you know he can support the team in his coaching capacity. Luke Cole takes the armband in Sean's absence. He he, he part of the, the leadership group that that you've got going on here. Yeah, so look, Luke's Luke's a big part of that leadership group. He he works really hard off the field and is a well respected member of the of the squad. You know, and he leads by example in the games anyway. Um, you know, so it's pretty natural for him for him to take on that role, and I know it's one he he would love to do, um, and be part of be part of something you know really good for the club. So, you know, he's looking forward to. It. He can't wait to get out there and and, and lead the side. And the boys that come in as well, which, as you've already touched on, it's important the game time for them. The likes of Tom Hill, who's missed out a lot on on injury, um, Jordan Cogburn obviously on dual reg, Alex Crocker come through MTU, Ben Foley had a run in the in the side right at the start, but. He's found himself on the bench in recent weeks, so so he comes back into the side as well. Yeah, look as we said, these guys these guys need to play as well, um, and it's it's just definitely the right time to freshen up. Looking at the the bodies, looking at how people are at the minute, and the, you know it, it, you know if we don't freshen up, we felt it would be one game too far to keep those guys in, um, and you know and go, you know it's, what a great challenge to go down to Monet and and, and get a win. Mm, will be a challenge as well with Pirates sitting third in the league as as well with the, with the weather on top. It, very, very tough down there. Yeah, massively tough. They're, as I said, um, right back um, when we played them in the cup, we think they're going to be there or thereabouts with Newcastle at the end of the year. Um, they're a quality side, well coached, um, you know, full of talent and, and, and some real physical uh, edge to the way they play. So it's going to be a massive challenge. We've got to go down there and you know we've got to play the conditions. We've got to be great at the things uh, that don't require as much talent in terms of our work rate, in terms of our kick chase, in terms of Jumping on all the scraps that, that end up on the floor on a wet day, you know, any loose pass, you know, that's where we've got to be great, and that's how um, you stay in the fight with with teams like Pirates who who do that really well. Um, so that's our challenge. We've got to stay in the fight there. We've got to stay in the fight up front. Um, you know, we had a cracking session at Northampton Saints yesterday, um, where the boys live scrum, live more, live live. Um, scrum attacks from defence so you know the boys are in a good place um, they really enjoyed that session yesterday so hopefully that puts them in a good place to go on Sunday. The one positive you can take down to the Monet is that you've already been down there once this season and come away with with a victory. Yeah the, the game down there was a bit of a strange one you know they got it, it was a bit a bit of to and fro and then we came out on the right side of the second half um, look they'll, they'll have a very different side out um, to the one they had that day um, and, and they'll be very keen not to uh, give up any more points away at home at the Monet because they're you know they're very strong there